The DeWall pile is a drilled cast-in-place displacement pile system developed in Belgium in the 1980s. Morris Shea Bridge Company owns the United States patent rights and installation rights for the DeWall pile for the entire Western Hemisphere. Since 1992, we have installed over 500,000 DeWall piles throughout the United States and the Caribbean. Many of those projects were originally designed with different pile types, such as auger cast, precast, pipe, timber, or H piles. We have the capability of installing DeWall piles with diameters ranging from 12 inch through 24 inch, depths up to 130 feet, and safe working loads up to 250 tons. This video will give you a complete overview of the design and installation process as you consider the use of the DeWall pile on your next project. The DeWall pile has the benefits of a driven pile in that the soil profile is densified as the pile is installed. It also has the benefits of a cast-in-place pile in that it develops high friction contact with the soil. Construction of the DeWall pile begins with drilling the patented DeWall tool into the ground. The base of the DeWall tool contains a machined recess that is fitted with an end plate, also known as a lost shoe, which acts as a cutting edge and to prevent soil and groundwater from entering the tool during drilling. After positioning the tool over the pile location, the end plate is placed at the bottom of the tool, and the tool is then lowered to the ground. The drill rig operator enters the pile number into the onboard data acquisition system and then starts drilling. The end plate rotates with the tool. The soil under the end plate is displaced sideways as the tool enters the ground. Soil is transported up from the tip of the DeWall tool by means of a partial displacement auger. The displacement element, more commonly referred to as the bulb, is formed as the diameter of the auger stem spirally increases to the full diameter of the pile. Once soil reaches the bulb, it is displaced horizontally. All soil cuttings are compressed laterally into the adjacent ground. When the drill is penetrated to the specific tip elevation or depth into the bearing stratum, advancement of tooling is ceased and the drill rig operator pushes a button on the data acquisition system to begin concrete mode. DeWall piles commonly include a center reinforcing bar over the entire length of the pile. A few strokes of concrete are pumped inside the drill stem to cushion the bar when it is placed. A drill tender uses an elevator on the side of the mast to safely assist him placing the center bar inside the drill stem prior to withdrawal. By using this method, there is no doubt as to whether the reinforcement goes all the way to the tip and remains in the center of the pile. At this point of the installation process, the drill stem now begins to serve a second purpose, which is that of a trimmy pipe used for concrete placement. The inside diameter of the trimmy is a continuous 9 inches from the base of the DeWall tool to the turntable. This provides a favorable ratio between the diameter of the concrete discharge port and the pile diameter. The trimmy pipe is pumped full of a rich and plastic, high slump structural concrete to an elevation above the working grade. The operator is able to verify that the trimmy is full by looking at the real-time display on the data acquisition system. The DeWall tooling is then hoisted slowly and continuously, leaving the end plate behind and allowing the concrete to flow rapidly and to form a uniform concrete column in the ground. Concrete continues to be pumped into the trimmy to maintain a positive head at all times during withdrawal. This method of concrete placement is both simple and easily repeatable, which ensures that all DeWall piles are formed to the full diameter over the entire length. It should be noted that a large percentage of the total concrete volume is placed inside the trimmy prior to lifting the tooling. This method prevents cross-sectional defects in DeWall piles. During extraction and concrete placement, the reverse flight above the bulb picks up any material that may have fallen in around the tool on its way down. This material is then compacted in the same manner the soil is compacted while drilling down. Thus, all material is displaced and no soils are pushed up to the working surface. Upon completion of concrete placement, the tooling is withdrawn from the ground and the concrete level is left even with the working grade. The drill operator pushes the end button on the data acquisition system and all information pertaining to the drilling and pouring of that pile is saved. 
Any loose soil or excess concrete at the pile head is cleared away by a drill tender and then a reinforcing steel cage is installed through the fresh concrete. The elevation of the steel and the concrete can be verified with a level. In many cases, if the pile cutoff grade is below the existing grade, the excess concrete is simply dipped out. The quality of DeWald piles satisfies the strictest building code requirements. Due to the densification features of the pile system, the consumption of concrete in the pile is normally only slightly higher than the theoretical volume except in very weak soil profiles. During pile construction, the concrete pressure is automatically kept at the required level, so strong fluctuations in concrete pressure cannot occur. It is typical for the concrete to have a strength of 4,000 PSI. However, higher strength concrete mixes can be used if needed. Mixes of up to 8,000 PSI have been used for special purposes. A third-party testing lab is always hired to perform sampling and testing of ready-mix concrete used in DeWall piles on a daily basis. At the end of each workday, the project supervisor downloads and reviews all of the pile logs created by the data acquisition system. These logs are checked against the third-party inspector's handwritten logs, then both sets of logs are emailed to management for review and filing. DeWall piles are designed to have tensile and lateral capacities equal to or in excess of those required for the project. Morris Shea uses locally licensed, registered professional engineers to perform the complete DeWall pile design, including pile reinforcing steel details. DeWall piles are always designed to satisfy all building code requirements. The DeWall pile installation method produces high shaft resistance and superior load transfer along the shaft. Complete DeWall pile projects have seen ultimate pile capacities exceeding 500 tons and ultimate tension capacities exceeding 250 tons. Lateral capacities are normally not an issue due to the fact that additional reinforcing steel can easily be installed to counteract bending moments in the pile. Our DeWall rigs are equipped with heavy fixed leaders controlled by hydraulic backstay cylinders to main verticality and are moved on hydraulic crawler base machines. DeWall pile diameters can be installed from 12 to 24 inches. Our current fleet is available to install DeWall piles with lengths of up to 130 feet. We have rigs with up to 45 ton meters of torque, 60 tons of crowd force, and up to 120 tons of extraction force. Hydraulic outriggers are positioned on the front and rear of the machine to assist in maintaining stability and pile orientation while drilling and application of crowd forces. Elevators are mounted on the side of the mast to assist personnel in safely assessing the turntable. The DeWall pile is a relatively noiseless and absolutely vibration-free system. An important advantage of this type of pile is that very little spoils are created during installation. This pile is ideal to be used in urban areas or industrial facilities that contain contaminated soils or sensitive operating equipment. Morris Shea is the only specialty foundation contractor in the U.S. to own and operate a 20-ton track-mounted electronic cone penetration testing machine. We perform multiple CPTs on every DeWall project to supplement existing geotechnical data. We use the CPT data in conjunction with our in-house model load program to predict pile capacity with depth, anticipated production rates, concrete waste, and tool wear. Our model load program is extremely accurate and was developed using CPT and pile load test data from over 20 years of DeWall pile projects. Our engineers also routinely use CPT data to produce cross-sections, topographic site maps, three-dimensional modeling, settlement predictions, liquefaction analysis, pile designs, and countless project-related reports. These in-house abilities make Morris Shea uniquely qualified to provide foundation solutions for your project. DeWall Piles offers several advantages over conventional piling systems. Compared to driven piles, DeWall piles provide the same capacity benefits without the disadvantages of cost, noise, pollution, and vibration associated with pile driving. 
Pile cutoffs are less expensive because in many cases the piles can be dipped to grade. Less laydown room is required because piles are cast from a concrete truck rather than delivered by a tractor trailer, which makes site logistics issues much easier to solve. Fewer pieces of equipment are required, which translates to smaller crews, fewer man hours, and less risk of an accident. Dewall piles are environmentally more friendly and are generally installed at higher production rates than driven piles. Furthermore, the start of a project is not contingent upon mill rolling dates or precast manufacturer limitations. When compared to auger cast piles, Dewall piles provide a higher quality end product and a much cleaner and safer job site by the elimination of spoils. Dewall piles are generally less expensive than auger cast because they are installed faster, have much less concrete overconsumption issues, no spoils to dispose of, and they achieve the same working load at shorter lengths or smaller diameters due to the soil densification characteristics of the system. Morishe Bridge Company is a uniquely qualified specialty foundation contractor capable of installing DeWall displacement piles as well as many other types of driven and drilled piles, micro piles, and drilled shafts. Morishe offers base bid proposals and design build alternatives for all types of construction projects. Please contact us and discuss your next project to see what we can do for you.